So today we're going to be doing a little bit of work on our 1966 Fiat 500. Uh, got a few leaking oil seals on the pushrod tubes, uh, hoping to uh, take the head off and replace some of those whilst the head's off. Going to do a little bit of porting and polishing work, try and get a bit more than the, uh, the original 17 horsepower out of it. So as you can see with the uh, thermostat cover off, there's actually quite a lot of oil residue around both the tops and the bottoms of the push rods. Probably more so on these back couple. So some new seals going in there, won't go amiss. Got a little bit around the distributor there, although some of that might well be blow by as the pressure builds up. So we'll have a little look, we'll take the heads off, the head I should say, and uh, whilst we're off we'll uh, port the manifolds there and uh, we'll have a look at the, uh, the inlet side as well. Now there doesn't seem to be too much in the way of pinching around here but it does look like there was oil coming past there. Obviously I'll replace that seal I've just dropped out the bottom. But we've got good flow to the top end so we'll have a new cylinder head gasket on there once this is done. Do need to uh, unfortunately pull it out and replace the clutch as we've got quite a lot of clutch judder so there's possibly a warped plate in there 
Um, what we're going to be doing as well, as you can see, possibly, the inside of these manifolds are quite a lot smaller than the gasket that actually sits on the outside there. If we put one across, we can port that out a little bit. But more importantly, on the head itself, the head itself has exceptionally tiny exhaust ports. We've got a 28 IMB carb off a 650, so we'll port that out. At the very least, port match that. When I pull the valves out, you'll be able to have a look at how we can remove that ridge down there and how we can remove some of the, uh, the ridges on the valve seal, uh, the valve stems themselves. We won't be going with any bigger valves in this head. Just try and gas flow it a little bit better than it is as standard. We've got the cylinder head off. Uh, you can see it down there. And uh, just for the, uh, the last little bit of this video, I'll just take you through the head, have a little look at the castings, see where some of the issues um, are in terms of flow and what we can actually do about it. So, you see, you can see here the 110F. So it's a standard 499cc head casting. Um, first of all, we'll have a little look here at the intake. Okay, so this is designed for an IMB 26 carb. So we've got a 26 millimeter inlet. Um, now, obviously, what we want to do is we want to enlarge that to 28 because what you don't want to have in terms of airflow is to have the inlet manifold which effectively is what that is built into the head actually uh, smaller than the outlet of the carb because if the choke or the, uh, the throttle body whatever you want to refer to it is on the carb is larger air hits here doesn't flow down correctly now with the gasket and the manifold uh, plastic sort of spacer arrangement on here it's never going to be ideal anyway because there's always turbulence around this area however we'll enlarge it and uh, and get it to, to port match there um, see if I can see down in here as well it's a little bit difficult to see but you can see there is a bit of a ridge um, and the ridge we can start removing see if I can point down there at the same time as filming so we can start removing this ridge flow this area down here a little bit um, make for a little bit of better airflow will smooth all of this area out don't want to polish it it's kind of a supposed common knowledge that you want mirror polished inlets you really don't because if you have mirror polished inlets what tends to happen is the uh, the turbulence of the fuel stops and you get droplets forming um, on the edge of the surface there so we'll keep it rough but not quite that rough that's kind of bad casting likewise around in there um, just have a little flip of the head over and have a little look down into where the uh, the valves sit obviously with your intake here what we can afford to do is remove a little bit of the edge of this valve um, uh, stem there and uh, a bit of it there, valve stem bushing I should say um, likewise rough edges rough edges here we want the airflow to come down, we don't want to make a knife edge on there, but we want to smooth it out we've got casting marks and everything inside there casting marks in the exhaust and we can afford to uh, slim those down and smooth that out um, where we're actually going to start making the bore considerably larger as if you look towards the edge here okay so we have obviously the uh, exhaust output which goes into the exhaust manifold and you can see where the firing sat and the sooty deposits around here are just kind of showing exactly how much extra material there is there that we can play with in terms of removing this um, and all in all we should free up a little power allow it to breathe a little better probably not as much of a difference as 
you might expect if you had a larger cam but at the very least you should see some kind of a improvement to flow there and generally make the most of what we have um, so we'll call it a night there and uh, the next thing you'll see hopefully is uh, I'll take you through the tools involved in porting, polishing and uh, we'll do some port matching next time.